Hey collectors, just chatting with truth on I'm back with another video. What's good, y'all? I'm hearing it's a judgment free zone. Okay, I mean it's a judgment free zone on this channel, but somebody could be saying that, like somebody could be telling you, like they ain't gonna judge you, you know, for what it is, you know, whatever. It's like somebody is just like this is a judgment free zone, a no judgment zone. You know, you could talk to me about whatever. Okay. I was also channeling that song by um, Scissor, um Kill Bill. And remember I said um, something about the movie, but then it's crazy. She got a song referring to her, talking about she may kill her ex and his new girlfriend. Okay, so that could be significant. She was basically saying how... Um, and you, you know, it's crazy because I really ain't get in tune with SZA album like that it's a few songs that i like but snooze got me in a chokehold like that's the only really the song that i know I'm, i heard that song kill bill before but snooze got me in a chokehold however yeah somebody is like cold to a situation and this person is like you know, it's like they, they, they're they saying that they're trying to contain themselves, but I feel like they got negative thoughts about the situation. They don't like that somebody is really moving on and uh, liking you. They're, they're willing to harm you and this person. Okay. She said, I'd rather be in jail than, than be alone. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's pride is all the way in the way. Love. You know, I feel like you don't judge this person or it's like, you know, you understand, you know, what it is to be hurt or however. But it's like you like somebody could have even had a conversation, you know, but it's like, you know, like you got to move on. I feel like somebody is feeling guilty as if like. OK, like say you're in this situation and this person, you know, leave somebody and they just like say okay say you were with some not not with them like you was messing with them while they were together but like say you know you were dealing with not dealing with somebody let me not say that you met somebody or whatever and they were in the middle of you know leaving a situation and or like somebody could have been in the middle of a divorce or a separation or something like that and it's like they find you and they get with you or whatever. You could be feeling guilty, you know, or this person that they're leaving could be trying to make you feel guilty for them being with you. But it's like you're their rightful person, like regardless of the fact, like, you know, like it's something it could be something of that sort. But I'm getting like this person is they have too much pride instead of letting the shit go. Yeah, because now you got envy coming out. OK. I'm hearing like. I'm hearing, bitch, who do you love? So this person could, like, like this female could be asking a masculine, or a masculine could be asking a female, take away a resonant, like, who do you love? Like, like I feel like I really get, like, somebody pride done got them. In, <laughs> they pride got the way to where they felt like they couldn't be left or they, like, you wouldn't find better. And it's like they really seeing you find better or they're seeing you content wherever it is you at in life without them and it, it got them feeling a little bit envious yeah we being honest and like this person is not going to admit that they're you know yeah guilty they could be even guilty for why y'all not together love you they could even be guilty for why y'all not together self-esteem with this empathy card here i feel like you you empathize with this person though like i hope y'all follow me like say if it's a female you know and it's like this person like okay because i'm picking up that show sisters again it's like zach was a dog you know and he did so much to Karen, but it's like when he got with Fatima, he was not this way. You know what I'm saying? He really changed his ways when he got with this girl. 
Um, so it's like this could be this like this like if say if you're caring, it's like somebody's self esteem is fucked up. Like you could be the team, and it's like this person's self esteem is fucked up. You get what I'm saying? It's like they're like, damn, what is it about this person that got them wanting to change or wanting to do better? You know, they could even be trying to guilt trip this masculine. But it's like somebody is needing to accept that something is over. I'm here and make light of a situation because it's like, or this could be you trying to make light of a situation because you you empathize with this person. Like you're like, you know what? I understand what it is to be hurt, or you know, for for somebody to treat you a certain type of way and then treat somebody else better. Or this could even been you, you know. Where you were dealing with a masculine and he left you and got with somebody and was treating them better. You know, left you in the cold, left you out behind. You know, could have fucked with your self-esteem a little bit. But it's like, that's over with. You, like, you know, <clears throat> it's like you, you found your self-worth, okay? This could have even been so, like somebody did that to you. That could have been their pride that did that. That allowed them to do that to you. Caught up. I'm a thing that's caught up. I don't know what it is. But it seems she's got me twisted. I'm so caught up. Somebody could be caught up about you, feeling caught up about you. But it's like if somebody, whoever, whoever, whoever got left, whoever self esteem is not intact, they could be envious of you. Whatever, whatever they did caught up to them, and you know what I'm saying is like their access is denied. Okay, it's like this person got their guard up, they're leveling up. That's why I said somebody could be getting guilt tripped or something like that. Okay, you got relaxed in Christmas. Yeah, I feel like you don't have nothing to worry about. You got a lot of gifts coming your way with this Christmas card here. Or well, something could be significant about that holiday, you know, to you. Hmm. I feel like somebody if somebody chose somebody over you they're realizing that they went the wrong way and that you're the gift see I feel like somebody is in that energy of wanting to harm somebody in their new girlfriend or their new boyfriend take it where it resonates yeah because yeah, for one this person is stubborn but I feel like They didn't take, they didn't, it's like they didn't take the opportunity or appreciate it when it was there. You know what I'm saying? They let their pride get in the way. Like maybe they felt like, oh, they couldn't love you or however it go. Like somebody was stubborn. But it's like now they see you receiving gifts and they feel some type of way. It's like somebody who didn't appreciate what you had to offer. Now they got somebody who's like literally worshiping the ground that you walk on. Um, they don't like that. Yeah, they look with this therapist and dad. Somebody could really want you dead. You know what I'm saying? It's like they apologizing to this person. This person is not wanting to hear it. Somebody needs help with this therapist and death card coming out here. Because I'm telling you, I go listen to that Kill Bill song. Go listen to that Kill Bill song. Yeah, this person is confused. Like, with this confused projection is stuck in the past. It's like, this person... Yeah, they need to seek help because it's too much. You know what I'm saying? It's like they really have no ties to this person anymore. I want to use my truth oracle. They don't have ties to this person no more. But see, they stuck in the past. This could have been somebody's twin flame. They could be trying to project something or make it seem as if it's something that it's not. But it's like the shit is over. You know, like it's like I feel like somebody is in a delusional state. 
But it, one thing to tour, to tour. Somebody could be on tour or look, you got illusion out here. One thing's for sure, this person is definitely like, yeah, they're delusional. Hell yeah, that somebody is swearing up and down like somebody could yeah with this someone wants to talk. Somebody is either swearing up and down that you guys still have some sort of ties or that you want something to do with them. They're trying to create some sort of illusions, but I'm telling you, somebody is in somebody is insecure. And where that car at? Self-esteem. I'm telling you, somebody's self-esteem is not intact. Okay, they feel like they like the fact that this person did all of this or or shit, even for some of y'all, like for my fans, if you got like if you was dealing with a masculine who fucking made you feel insecure about yourself, for them to see somebody actually love on you, it kind of the roles kind of reverse. It's like now they feel insecure. They're like because they not half of the man that or whatever like you know whatever you got coming in they can't compare to that and it's like because they knew they could never compare to you to begin with so for you to find somebody on your match that means somebody of the same sex as them is more than them you get what I'm saying like they never compared to you they never matched to you so it's like for you to have somebody who's your equal. Yeah, here go my Empress card. For you to have somebody who is your equal, it's like, it kind of got this person triggered. Like, you know, because it's like, I'm hearing one man's trash is another man's treasure. It's like somebody treated you like shit and then expected you to continue being treated that way. Yeah, but with this shadow in the work, it's like you learn how to love on yourself before anything. And it's like, now you're not accepting anything. Like, this person can't even, they don't have shit to give you if they wanted to. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, your happiness scares them. I'm telling you because you're cold. Didn't I say that in the beginning? I said somebody is cold. Somebody is very cold to a, a, a connection or to someone. Very cold. Yeah, it's like you com you're you emotionally unavailable for this person. This person could have been this way towards you. I'm telling you, the table's com completely reversed. Yeah, with this single parent here and then you got new love. I'm telling you, this person could have left you out in the cold with your kid or however it goes. <clears throat> but it's like you got somebody that's coming in that's really going to love on you for you, love on you and your child. But this person is not like that. It's like it does something. It, it's like it's bruising their ego. That's what I'm hearing. With this temperance card here, definitely balance coming in, though. I'm hearing, um, what's that song about Vito? No, 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 no. She went away, she got away from you. One shot in my ego. She on a bullshit, all the other same shit too. Now she got her own back in this working. I can say no, she be working. She don't really need a nigga, but I know she want me. If we ever break up, Shorty still gonna be a homie. Cause she my equal. Yeah, it's like somebody views you as their equal. This new person that's coming in. But see, I feel like balance is coming in your life. And somebody feels completely out on the cold. Completely submerged in their emotion. And it's like with you not being there, it's some sort of tower going, tower happening in there. Like, yeah, they're holding on to something. Either the idea that something can work or something. Like, if somebody, because with that page in the Five of Pentacles, somebody could have been, because I seen that codependency card. Somebody could have been you know, helping a person out financially or something like that. It's like without this person here, this person feels out in the cold financially too. It's like they maybe they're juggling. It's like losing this person, the whole a, a, a tower moment definitely happened. Definitely. And they're holding on to it. Like they don't like that. Like somebody is holding on to their life. This could be somebody's baby mother too. Or baby father, like somebody, yeah, with this hermit here, somebody need to do some soul searching. Because it's like, you done move forward. With this Eight of Cups chariot, it's like, you're long gone. And that's what that stuck in the past card is here. Yeah, somebody is steady watching. Steady watching. They could be wanting to come through. Yeah, look, you got the Empress card coming out again. Somebody is definitely going to want to come through. But I feel like things is happening too fast in your life for you. Yeah, it, I'm telling you, with this, it's like, you're happy. <laughs> it's like, if somebody wanted to come in, they couldn't. 
And it's like this person don't know. It's like this person is watching and they're not knowing much. Yeah, with this five of wands. And it's creating some sort of conflict for them because it's like why they don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like why they don't know who this look, look who at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like he's hiding. It's like, or you could be hiding him. Not like that, but it's like this person is like, why don't I know who's this Knight of Cups? Like, who's this love offer? Like, somebody know it's something. I can't make it up, but they don't know who or what. And that's what really got them in this Three of Swords. Because it's like, I feel like if this person could know, it would make it better for them to, you know, try to sabotage it. But because they don't really know, it's like, yeah. Shit is moving. Shit is slow for them right now. Everything is slow. Everything is slow. But I feel like whatever you're working on is gaining momentum. That's what I'm getting. You're very passionate about what it is that you're doing. Whatever you got going on is definitely gaining momentum. But you got the devil card out here. Surrender to silence. Let's see. grounded yeah i feel like whoever you are you're grounded you're somebody who with that surrender to silence you you know you you spend a lot of time alone you you meditate you go within somebody is like going off the deep end because you at peace or y'all at peace whoever is at peace yeah it's a lot going on i'm hearing sacrificial lamb like somebody could be Okay, you got clearing and faith. I feel like you're going to get a sign about something. Okay? Something is going to come to you or something is going to click. Yeah, with this letting go. It's like something is going to click. And then with this expansive that's sticking out. It's like something is going to click. Whether it's with you or this person that's going to allow something to be released and something else to expand. Whoever you are, you on your life purpose, you on your path, okay? I'm hearing if you need help or need to gain clarity on a situation, you know, ask for help, but something is, something is expanding. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I feel like also whatever you released and let go, you know, had this awakening, and now life is expanding for you. Balance is coming in. This is why people are envious. Hell yeah. And it's like you got your guard up and nobody knows what's going on with you. Nobody really knows what's really going on with you. And that's what really do it for people. It's like people do all this watching and still don't know. They still don't know or they still second guessing or questioning like it's a lot because that five of wands is out here so it's a lot so this person could have people watching you look huh? the law detective determines that's the truth that's my ace of swords card this person could definitely some you know people are definitely right but it's like they don't know Oh, but I will say, whoever, somebody pride got in the way and they missed the opportunity. You got to give more things to your ancestors. They were 25, 8, good news is here. Yeah, you definitely protected. You definitely protected. Yeah, and then I release any past hurt. I'm healed. And that's what it is. People don't like that you healed. Yeah, major endings. It's like you put an end to all of this shit. And this, what's coming in for you is this good karma. Look, I learned a tough lesson in self-love. You dealing with this person, you really had to learn how to love on yourself. Because I'm telling you, the shit that you was going through was like, ain't no fucking way in hell I love myself and was putting up with shit like that. Ain't no fucking way in hell. And it's like, that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now you realize, I'm like, yeah. So now that something is coming in, somebody don't like you. It's like, somebody's really like, oh, oh, you, so you, you really, you really give a fuck about yourself. You really gonna go be happy? Yes, bitch. Yes, I am. What the fuck? Why wouldn't I be? Especially if you got a kid. It's like somebody thought that was going to stop you or hold you back or stop you from receiving love. Like, no. And I'm hearing, like, you so cold to this person. you like, even if I didn't have love, it wouldn't be with your ass. Somebody is definitely stuck in the past thinking that something is going to be that is never going to be. Yeah, it's like, with that therapy, yeah, somebody, somebody needs to fucking seek help. 
they do. Cause it's like I feel like the more you move on, the more this person's self esteem just be shattered. And I feel like when they finally find out who you who you dealing with, that's what's gonna kill them. <laughs> okay, so that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time.